year, 2020, will be remembered as the year of the COVID-19 global pandemic. As the crisis forced people to move from office to home working, companies had to think beyond the boundaries. In the AEC industry, many companies quickly realised that their office servers were no longer fit for purpose. They needed to look further afield in order to establish new collaboration techniques. In this industry talk, we will be exploring a case study with one of our clients who will be taking us through how they set up a new company during, their glo during the global pandemic. We're going to be looking at insights and reasoning behind why the implementation of BIM 360 design collaboration was going to be their collaboration tool as well as the, um, their, com their common data environment especially since they've never used it before. We're going to be looking at how quickly they were able to set up this new environment without any IT costs. My name is Bitul Jabor. I'm a Chartered Architectural Technologist and a BIM Application Specialist at Symmetry. Welcome to setting up an architectural company during a global pandemic. Today's topics are to do with BIM 360, and how setting up a company during COVID-19 is, um, is one of the main impacts that we've had within this particular industry talk. One of the challenges that we had is to do with setting up a company within the global pandemic. So how is it that this particular client has actually gone through those, um, those issues and challenges and overcome them? So we're going to be looking at BIM 360, architecture, COVID-19, and any challenges that has come across with it as well. I'm pleased to introduce my co-presenters, Ian Rees and Katarina Kofinaki, who are both co-founders of Archilab Design Studios. Welcome, Ian and Katarina. Thank you, Batul. Great to be here and uh, looking forward to sharing our experiences. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you, Batul. Thank you for inviting us. Well, both of you is, is, is an inspiration to be actually co-presenting this with you both because you've both got attention to detail. You're both architects. You've both got nearly 40 years of experience within the industry combined together, that is. Um, so, you, you know, it's, it's a great inspirational story that I can't wait to show this to, to everyone else, really, uh, in terms of how your combined innovative designs and, and, and project management roles and things like that, and how it's developed in order for you to become directors of Archilab's design studio. Um, so be, let's get stuck into the three topics. We've got three main topics that we're going to be going through today. Uh, two questions and one which is a timeline of how you have coped within the last four months. You're in the infancy, I suppose, of, of your company where you've, um, you, you've only had four months of, of your timeline so far. So we're on month four of where your journey has begun. And our first topic is what was key in identifying the need for BIM 360 design in order to collaborate within your newly formed architectural practice? So here we've got some topics that you've already, you've already seen the question, you've brought these topics to the table, and I just want to kind of see why is it that you brought this particular topic to this question. And the first one is cost. So uh, Katarina, would you like to tell us why is it that you thought cost was relevant to go with this question? Yes, yes, of course. Um, uh, well, starting the, the taking the decision to form the practice, um, it had to to be made with lots and lots of lots of research after lots of research and uh, taking a lot of decisions quite quickly, actually, because we took this this decision after after we had an opportunity for a project. So okay. uh, we said, like, OK, we need to just do it now and we need to do it at the, the, the least cost that we can do it, but we need to provide this service to our clients. So mm -hmm. of course, uh, starting to researching about servers and everything, it, it looked like a huge task. So um, it looked like a huge task and without even researching, actually, we thought like, okay, server, server cabinets and, and all the IT that comes with it. That's that's a huge cost that we we cannot afford to to yeah. take right now, and uh, so we thought like yeah, let's go to BIM three hundred and sixty, which can provide us like 
not not only the, the storage of, of the of our models and our, all of our uh, documents, but um, the collaboration as well. So uh, the cost was one of these um, elements that that was actually the the essential uh, that that yeah, led us to the decision. I think the principle of a, of, of a server um, was just was just not an option at, at, at that time. You know, it, it just it just wasn't really uh, practical in terms of getting the infrastructure set up as well. And with regards to um, the remote um, uh, remote working, the nature of remote working, uh, a fixed land based server was just not the way forward. Uh, in, 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 in the in the abilities and, and potential of cloud based technology. That we're all working currently and everybody is survived across microsoft teams or zoom different platforms a land-based server just wasn't an option and we wanted and to we wanted to move that responsibility i think as well of that inf of that it infrastructure exactly yeah. because we will we will be honest with you we we are architects and we have a certain um level of technology knowledge so we said like this 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 is huge to us being to be able to just just deal with the server we will have to have some an IT technician uh, or anything. but doing everything online and this pr pr provided online by symmetry and uh, the ongoing support that we have was was um yeah, yeah that was the reason to choose um BIM 360 Brilliant. I mean, you know, the comparison of server costs with BIM 360 and, and what you've explained there in terms of setup and IT and, you know, architects, your designers at the end of the day, you haven't been through an IT degree and, and how many no. years of experience of setting up a server and, and backups and things like that. So, you know, all of that does come to mind when you are trying to set up a new company and it can actually hinder people from moving and leap, you know, taking that leap into, yeah. um, into forming their own company, I suppose. So yeah, really, yeah. really Setting up, setting up laptops for new starters is an interesting one as well. Yeah. You know, when I <laughs> when you find like you're not, so, not got an IT degree, but setting up laptops when you start, all of a sudden you think, well, yeah. imagine, should us trying to, imagine us trying to set up a server yeah. or just try to think yeah. about it. But luckily, yeah. luckily, we have we have yeah. IT support uh, through through other yeah. means, and and we have reference points okay. to to be able to do that. So we're not we're not completely alone. Th that's good. It's, it's a bit like opening a box. Oh, I've my, my new laptop has just arrived. And you open and you think, does it not have Revit? Does it not have BIM yeah. 360? Does it not have yeah, Word? Yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely... Um, desktop definitely connector. Yeah, we appreciate that. <laughs> yep, absolutely. So it takes us to the next point then, which is to do with speed. So we've discussed cost and IT, but IT still kind of comes into speed because yeah. within speed, you've brought this to the table, um, Katharina and Ian as well, um, with regards to VPN connections and your previous experience with that as well. Tell us a bit more on, on how speed well, is. is... I, I, think, I think you can you can consider speed from two um uh, two standpoints of the definition of the word speed there. Mm -hmm. There was a speed mm -hmm. in terms of time of setup for us. In, in yeah. fact, you know, the, the, the going onto a cloud-based platform is instantaneous. It's as fast mm -hmm. as the onboarding process that Symmetry provided to us. You know, yeah. when, when, when we had that first onboarding session with yourself and, 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 and Scott and, and, and went through the, the process. So there's a speed of bringing yeah. it on, on, you know, bringing our systems online. And then there's a speed in terms of physical network connection speed uh, yes. with, via, with anyone who is VPN. listening yeah anyone who is listening to us now can uh, i mean um, can understand what we're talking about and how yeah. we feel about the vpn connection speed it's just sometimes it just lets you down and yes. uh, yeah. it it won't let you work as fast as you as you need to sometimes or as it you want to it depends how much investment you, you, you've put into that particular technology. I'm sure there's there's, there's platforms that, that are quicker, but you know we, we're we're working on a uh, on a significant budget, and um, you know maybe there is a VPN platform out there that that, 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 that enables that speed and, and, and network connections, and your your home business network connections via your internet provider could 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 assist with that as well. But all those mm -hmm. things, we just didn't have the time to 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 investigate that. We need to we needed to respond quickly to the to the environment we were in. So uh, yeah, I think I think speed speed should be considered from two angles there: setup and and physical yeah. internet connection. 
Yes, absolutely. And and to be honest with you as well, to relate it back to, I mean, I've, I deal with lots of clients nationwide where we've had lots of calls through lockdown to say, look, my, my connection, I've just got this blue swirly, arrow, this blue swirly circle yeah. when you're trying to save or synchronize and it yeah, takes absolutely. so long and it's painful and it adds, you know, it adds more drama, if you like, to, to your day because you think, when is this going to save? And, you know, and I've got my deadlines already and yeah. you just want to focus on design at the end of the day. You don't really want to go in and say, right, okay, I'm just going to wait for IT to set up for five minutes and then oh, I'll yeah. wait another five minutes. And how many cups of coffees can you make while you're swirling? <laughs> you know, there's only and so then, many you can have. Uh, yeah. I, 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 would, I would add a third element to speed as well because you, yeah. uh, we have the, the markups that you're saying is the live collaboration. So speed yeah. in working as a team, collaborating with others in a live, mm-hmm. live environment. So that's, yeah. that's incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, looking at traditionally, we, we'd have to go in, print it out, get the pens or find the pens first, then you mark it up and then you realize, oh, I need to now scan it. And then the scan is a bit skew and then you've got to store it somewhere. And yeah, you've got all of this now within one platform, which is, uh, yeah. which, which is great. It's great to see that yeah. we're using it that way as well. Um, so then the next item then is framework. And, you know, with projects and, and, and having to have this common data environment is really key. How is it that framework came into play? Because you are, you know, a new company. How is it that, did you just think, oh, we're going to comply with this framework? Or is it that your clients are asking for this? Well, no, we knew, we, we knew, we, we, you know, in, in the research that we'd done in setting, in setting the practice up, we knew we'd done our research of what we were going to target. We knew our skill set mm-hmm. and where our skill set um, meant we should be, really, in terms of the, the level that we should be targeting. And, and, and we do a lot of work and have a lot of experience in working with the DfE and um, education-based um, frameworks. And uh, yeah. crucial to that is, is um, the, the delivery at BIM Level 2. Um, and to, to be able to deliver BIM Level 2, we need a common data environment. We need the, uh, the, the, the platform and infrastructure to be able to do that. So it was quite clear from the outset mm-hmm. you know, what, what we knew we were targeting and, and, yeah. and, and, and coming to yourselves to, to explore that as a possibility and how easy it was to, to get that set up was, 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 was the answer. We knew, we knew from the start, we knew from the start that, and that was a stepping stone that our first project was a BIM Level 2 project. So we had to deliver yeah. that. So we said like, okay, what, what are we doing? We need something that will help us deliver by this because we need it. We are a startup com- company and um, we just have to do it. And at yeah. the end of the day, yeah. I mean, whether it's whether it's one project or, or, or any other project, you know, we, we, at, at that time we were, we were targeting multiple different um, potentials. And um, we, we still want to be able to deliver to to that level of standard anyway. You know, whether it's mandated mm-hmm. or not, you know, um, we, that's that's the sort of mm-hmm. level of, of, that we want to be you know working to anyway. So it's not you know yeah. it is not necessarily specifically about any particular project. It, it's more about the, the, our, glo- our, our our strategy of of global holistic workload that we were targeting. You know, we, we're targeted to that level. Yeah, yeah. So th- that's that's a crucial stage. Th- so we have to make sure that the collaboration tool that you're going to be using is going to be, you know, um, compliant then with BIM Level 2 for internal and external processes, um, w- which is yeah. why the framework has come along. Yeah, absolutely. Really. Yeah. Um, which takes us then onto audience, because we've already kind of established that as a team, we need to, you, you know, kind of comply with this framework and then the audience is where you've got your team locations you've got your external locations as well so we're not just talking about where the the inner circle are going to be but where your external disciplines are going to be and how you're going to be kind of sharing that data and sharing that inf- information as well with the audience um and, and we talk about you know the setup of, of of your architectural company during a pandemic um and we're going to be talking a bit more on that a bit later on but with your locations, lots of us are working from home now, you know, so we're, we're looking at setting up our m- mini offices from, from various parts around the world. And actually, it's opened up more doors for us because now we can collaborate with those who might have been overseas or might have been in a, in a further part of, of, of the UK that we, we took us, you know, six hours to get to us. And now we can just get to them in an instance. So team locations and the way that you've actually gone on with BIM 360 and, and kind of taking it on board. Um, how has that affected your internal team? How is it, you know, has it saved you time? Do, do you need to travel into the office? T- tell us a bit about your setup. 
I think the uh, the, the, the scenario we, really is that, that we were we were forced into a particular method of working yeah. from the outset. Yeah. If, if 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 we were setting this practice up in a different climate, then there may have been some different. Well, there would have, without a doubt, there would have been some different decisions. And, yeah. and I think it's the acceptance of those decisions. So during a global pandemic, there's 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 the uh, and, and everybody is in the position of working from home. Mm -hmm. There is a global acceptance, isn't there, of the Absolutely, nature yeah. of how you're operating. You know, it's now commonplace, mm -hmm. isn't it, to see people sat, not in an office space, but in a home working environment and in, in a, a yes. home based office. You know, whereas that previously would be would be seen as a bit of a um, potential or, you know, uh, you know, it, not, not a negative, but, but, you know, a little bit of an eyebrow lift. Now it's a complete it's a complete norm. Um, so we, in, in the fact that we, we did this from the point of where we, we were everybody was working from home in global lockdown, you know, in national lockdown, we were forced down a particular route. Um, and, 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 and that particular route then ena enables us to, to just to, re to, to rethink, really. Well, well, it focused how we thought in terms of approaching your cells and coming to symmetry and exploring what the options and, and, and are available um, yeah. to be able to facilitate that. In terms of, in terms of our um, timescales and, and, and efficiency, it, it's, it's, it's wholesale more efficient in terms of the hours that we're getting out of a day the speed that we are able to um, collaborate because you can just you can just collaborate like you are you know sat next to each other at the desk with 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 a, with a click of the button on Teams. Yes, yes exactly. Absolutely. And and that's 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 the real advantage actually uh, because now you know everybody is uh, previously we were we were collaborating let's say via emails which was indirect collaborations or physical. Meetings that took time to arrange the meeting. Everybody will have to be available and everything. Now, everybody is um, doing calls, meetings, teams, but having an extra advantage, having this this live platform, this live collaboration tool that BIM 360 gives you, it's it saves so much time, and it's yeah. just with the correct management of the platform and um, with the correct um, share of accessibility, then it, it can work perfectly. Yeah. And, and, and I like how you say, you know, you use other platforms, so you're using Teams or something like that to, to stay connected, mm -hmm. to feel like you're still within the office environment. You, you can still have the, you know, the office banter that goes on. But it's now transferred yeah. through Teams and emails. Yeah. I mean, the, re the restrictions that, that happen with emails, is there a formal email? Do you put a smiley face on it? Is it not yes. a formal email? Is it is it yeah. just a one liner or do you still have to do kind regards? You yeah. know, it's one of those things that I, well, I suppose everyone thinks about, is there, a, you know, it's come through yeah. by email exactly. now, this is a formal exactly. request. Well, Whereas emails, you just want to chat. Yeah, our emails can take time. Um, just um, prepare this attachment. Oh, I forgot this attachment. Oh, uh, I need to, to send another email or and, and then wait to get back to you. And it's just saving so yeah. much time. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're, not... work, we're, working, we're working closely as well with our HR advisor in terms of ensuring that the... <laughs> Um, our policies are in place and, and appropriate policies are yeah. in place for exactly the things you know, you, you have got to be yeah. careful because of the informality of, of, of certain you know of teams as a platform on the chat button and all yes. that sort of thing that yeah. you, you you don't yeah. necessarily take that informality through into your into your emails and uh, yeah we, we, we're, we're definitely yeah. working close in our policies to ensure that there's there's, there's a, a level of professionalism maintained throughout throughout the practice all the, yeah 100%. Absolutely. And you can transfer both of those actually into the BIM 360 platform as well, where you've got the ability to create issues. So issues are seen as a formal, you know, this is a formal problem that's within your model that needs to be resolved. And it's more of an instantaneous thing. It's, it is, again, feeling as though you're in a site meeting. You know, you, you don't have to go to site to discuss this <laughs> now. You've got the issue in front of you and anyone can access it from anywhere on any device. So, you know, you've got the ability to, to do that and, in, in, um, you know, in a in a formal but yet connected way, I suppose. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's it's a behaviour. It's become a behaviour. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of you know leadership, leadership is a behaviour. Yeah. It's not a function. And, and collaboration. Mm -hmm. Now we follow exactly that same 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 methodology. It's, it's become a behaviour yeah. that, that that we're all just attuned into now. Um, that yeah. it, it, it's critical to to um, to collaborate and collaborate by whatever means are possible at our fingertips currently. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Um, which leads us on to this next point, which I've 
thought I'll bring to the table. Um, just from a conversation I had with yourself before, Ian, in, in one of our um, pre-presentation, uh, actually, um, uh, ses sessions, uh, and it's to do with juxtaposition and small versus large. So one of the main questions I suppose we've been asked through maybe every, every single client, you know, um, how, how are others using this or how how you know is is it only large companies that are only implementing this i'm only a two-man band can i implement this within my practice and it doesn't really matter and what i've seen since that there's been a large uptake of bim 360 i mean i've been dealing with bim 360 for a few years now but within the last you know the lockdown period the uptake has been quite steep so it kind of follows the 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 covid line if you like it's been yeah. quite steep that way where you know um Yes, we need to rethink, like what we mentioned about costs and server setup and, you know, the, the servers are no longer fit for purpose. We now need to have something else to speed it up and things. But it doesn't really matter whether it's, a, you know, just two people working together or whether it's 200 people working together. And so this is something I wanted to bring to the table because, I mean, how many people are in Archilab at the moment? We've got the setup. Uh, uh, with the seven of us currently, yeah seven currently and you yep. know so so um and hopefully that will expand but bim 360 is useful for less than 10 people so within a practice mm -hmm. and we we can and, and we have the same for 100 people or 200 people where we just need to work on the same model at the same time and we need to be able to synchronize and that's just the kind of tick boxes that allowed you to to go in and and, and do that really and so it's something yeah. that i wanted to bring to the table to say it doesn't just have to be a new company it doesn't have to be an existing company it doesn't have to be a company that only has two people it's available for everyone to use as long as you need to collaborate with someone else so probably two people minimum you won't have it for just one yeah. person <laughs> because you need to collaborate yeah. with someone <laughs> um so that was yeah, that, that's the end of the, yeah I'm yes, saying, yeah. I think, yeah, I mean, obviously, you, you, you've, got the, you've got your internal collaboration, but you've also got your external yeah. collaboration across BIM360, you know, yeah. the, the BIM yeah, exactly. yeah. haven't you? You know, it's, 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 yeah. the, the, it's the fact that we can, we can you know, employ the work sharing functionality of, 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 of Revit um, yeah. uh, across, across that platform that, 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 that mm -hmm. um, yeah, internal and external collaboration, that, that's, that's absolutely yeah. key. Absolutely. And, and, and it's, you know, we're still working to the same deadlines. We're still working to, to the same kind of script. We just needed to translate it to be able to do that from our fingertips from home, really. And, you know, it's, it's I wish we were board. working to the same deadlines. They'd be quick and faster at the moment. <laughs> Oh no! Okay. Well, we've become well, more well, efficient. Well, there's that many, there's that many online collaborative meetings going on that you don't sound to do any work. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I think that's another topic for another for another presentation, Ian. Absolutely. Because that absolutely. Ab absolutely, you can have a meeting about a meeting before a meeting and after a meeting, and it, you can just yeah. go on and on and on. Isn't Too it? Easy, I, isn't I think. It? <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, that so that is the. Yeah. <laughs> That's the um, the end of this first topic, this first question, which takes us on to the second question, which is to do with reduced setup time. I know we've spoke about time already, but this is to do with reduced setup time in terms of overhead costs of BIM 360. And has it been, um, you know, have, let me start again. So reduced setup time and overhead costs of BIM 360 have been some of the advantages during the global pandemic, which is what we've discussed. And here now we're just looking at reasonings why so explaining why those certain uh, aspects have come and again you've brought to the table a couple of things so starting off with some quotes and i ian i think um, i'll start off with your quote first which is starting position didn't have anything to do with the pandemic so regardless you was going to start a company or you know if we take it 12 months back would you you would have approached it slightly differently tell us a bit more about about your quote and why you've decided to use that um, yeah, so I mean, the, the starting position inside or outside of, of, of a pandemic is 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 um, it's it's the same. We, we we're responding to what our target market was, um, and, and our target market involved as being able, you know, necessitating us to to to, to um, offer uh, the BIM level two um, service. Uh, through a common data environment and through and through work sharing and, and collaboration. So, um, you know, it, it, whether whether we're inside a pandemic or outside of a pandemic, we still had that target you know target market, yeah. and 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 it was you know that that is that was the main you know the main driver for us um, 
all, all that the pandemic has done is, is, is absolutely um, sharply focus the um, the nature of of the fact that we're working remotely in doing that. You know, um, it's that, 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 yeah. that, that's that's I think the, 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 the crux of it for us. That, that, well, that's that's a really um, interesting point because, you know, we're talking about a risk within a risk, you know, creating a, a company and then creating it during the pandemic as well. So to give you that kind of push and to say that, you know, COVID-19, yes, it's affected us all globally. But to be honest, our starting line is still the same starting line. It's just our focus is sharper, which is, is yeah, brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what, it, what, it, what it's done. It, it's just really focused the lens. Yeah, and focus yeah. the lens. Like I said, you know, I emphasize I like when in, 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 a, in a way that that people have grown to accept so quickly. You know, so yeah. quickly to, yeah. to, to accept this 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 new normality of of, the, of of people's working environments at home. You know, you look at Sky News, and you've got you've got yeah. live Sky News presentations, and and, 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 and and kids walking into the backdrop of of, of, of live presentations. <laughs> It's just accepted, isn't it? Now that's it. You know, it's the, that is the new normal. It's, it's it shows life and 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 work in its yeah. in its true and real sense. Yes, absolutely. I mean, there's there's always. Um... I suppose there's been a, a huge thing about don't mix business with pleasure and, and things like that. But now <laughs> yeah. that now that if we look at how you know people are cooking while working or, you know, <laughs> the hoovers going on in the background, the robot hoovers, you know, going around in the background or something happening or someone walking in. It just shows that we're human at the end of the day. You know, exactly. if you're in an office environment, you're still human. If you're at home, you're still human. And we, we all go through the same thing. So um, it's, it's, it's good that you've actually added that point into it. I, I really like yeah. that. There's yeah. a spin on it, which then takes us to Katharina's quote about becoming the new normal. So, you know, previously we, we kind of segregated things by taking the journey into the office and sitting in the office while, you know, the children are at home and things like that. Now the new mm -hmm. normal kind of combines everything um, together. And people did work from home before. It's just, I suppose, when there was a formal thing, they'd meet in a formal place. So how, how do you think about the new normal then, Katrina? So, yeah, the new normal is that, uh, as we said, everybody's working from home and everybody will be working from home whilst... Mm -hmm doing something else whilst the kids are at home and that's that's acceptable and also admirable i would add actually absolutely um, absolutely so the new normal as we were saying just helped us to take the decision with one less risk the risk of apart from the risk um that we had to take that it's it's a pandemic what happens with construction, what happens to our industry, we had at the back of our mind, we had like, okay, we have one less risk that we do not have to um, account for rent. We do not have to account for like huge um, hardware. So we were saying that, yes, that's, that's, that's quite what helped us to take this uh, decision and the step forward to, to form the practice. So I suppose yeah. this kind and, of changed the lens a bit, didn't it? And also, yeah. and also, um, and also, the uh, what we're saying, uh, the, the normal is for us to think that we can keep working from home, so we can keep our practice uh, being remote. Yeah, uh, and 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 the way that the costs um, within the costs within that are affected is is. We've got reduced overheads, um, which makes us um, ultimately more competitive um, in in the markets that we're targeting. And, um, That's and, and an that, advantage as well. That is a complete advantage yeah. to 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 do that. You know, in, in reducing our overheads mm -hmm. via the platforms and cloud technologies that we have been able to take, but set aside and against the new normal of being working from home and reduced. Uh, well, no, not even considering at that point rental uh, space, office space costs, and that it's, it's just enables our, comp our our competitive advantage in, in, is is huge, yeah. uh, and, and you know yeah. to enable us to do that. Um, in the future, we when we we will be we will be uh, when 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 the uh, restrictions change and and things move forward. Obviously, we'll be back and we'll be we'll be into the office, you know, our, our, our registered office, and and um, and and continuing. Maybe on a 50-50 principle at that point. I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've seen a few different polls on LinkedIn of, 
of, of, of, of suggesting how much time you'd like to spend at home working from home or working from the office. Is it 20, 80, 80, you know, 50, 50, 30, you know? Yeah. And uh, yeah. the mixed reaction across there uh, is, uh, is startling, you know, in terms of the, which way it's going. And it's heavily working towards three days a week at home and two days a week in the office. But yeah. that will yeah. be a decision that we will make but we won't have to because for what we are saying, this new normal is now established. So even if we don't want to move into a, an actual um, physical office, we won't have to. Yeah. But it's yeah. yeah but it, I mean, it, until March, it, it, you know, it, it's it's a decision that's that's taken anyway. Um, you know, for, for essential yeah. working environments, you know, we can still we can still use um, our, our, our office space, um, you know, our registered office space, but. Uh, you know, if if we need to, but at the moment we, we, it's 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 functioning fine. Perfect. And have you had any requests, maybe from any clients, to say, oh, you know, we want to meet you in person or anything like that? Have you have you had to deal with any of that yet? It's, it, it's so far the, the the meetings with our with all our clients have been have been client based meetings. So um, okay. you know, we've 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 met we've met either on site. Or, um, or, or or their offices and um, and and taking it from there really. There's yeah, um, there's been there's been a, a limited requirement to 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 uh, have had to have actually get together in in our fixed office space. I think that was more of a personal need though, rather than a professional need to meet um, face to face. Yes, yes, definitely. And I suppose this is why it takes you back to that LinkedIn poll, because, you know, it takes you back to the mental health of how, you know, good it is to see other humans in real life. And, you know, it's, it's one thing seeing seeing someone through like what we are now is through a 2D kind of platform. You just need to kind of do, do a, a bit of a visual cube. Can I can I twist them around? Yeah. Can I see them in 3D? You know, so yeah. it's, uh, you need one of those Revit cubes for 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 teams meetings and things like that. Um, yeah, but, yeah and, no, and, and, and it is like say it is a personal choice. I think sometimes as yeah. well. You know, we we, yeah. we we had a meeting yesterday. You know, with with with, yeah. with a client, and, um, uh, and 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 it was. It's just good for them to see the the, the whites of your eyes and understand your charisma, and understand your. <laughs> Uh, your personality, which you know can't necessarily yeah. always come over in a two D two D environment, and yeah, I think, yeah, I think yeah, I, it, 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 some, some, sometimes like that it, it is absolutely critical. But uh, yeah, you can never be human Yeah, 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 absolutely. I like that. We can never beat the human touch, which takes us through to our next point, which is well, the, human, the human touch. The human touch has gone. It's more the human human elbow. Oh yes, of course, of yeah. course. Oh, we could we could do that on here. So if I do that, yeah, and then you do it. Yeah, absolutely. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, it takes us to our next point, which is to do with certainty. And we we've already kind of spoke a bit about certainty and about risks within a risky time. Mm -hmm. um, but here we're talking about you know having certainty during a global pandemic already is. In, setting up the company what kind of gives you that we've, we've talked about refining the lenses and and, and and things like that but what is it that gave you the certainty to say right okay go ahead this is the platform it's there's no other solution for us at the moment and that's the route that we're going to go down i think what i think what gave about? us the certainty to move on was the ability to have a platform and a tool that will well, definitely, we knew from the start that will help us deliver the project. So we had this certainty. So we say, startup company, if we deliver this project or our future projects, then we are okay. I think it's, that, it's exactly that. I would echo that. But having, having the yeah. confidence yeah. in a IT technology and a cloud-based platform that we know is going to be able to deliver what we can deliver with limited responsibility on our side, we're transferring a lot of responsibility to 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 effectively to yourselves who are administering the you know, mm -hmm. via, via via your company um, mm -hmm. to um, you know being responsible for making sure there's a continuity of of delivery of that service that, that's paid for. Um, yeah. Alongside that as well is is you know obviously we had a, we've had we've had a, a long-standing working relationship with yourself, the tool as well, um, yeah. which as an individual gave us personal yeah. confidence. In being able oh, to deliver brilliant. what we could deliver, so yeah. you know it, it, the, the two things. Always, the, the way the way we've sort of established in, in, in setting up the practice and having confidence in setting up the practice. People work with people. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, in, in people working with people, you, you you choose people carefully. 
Um, yeah. and, and it's no it's no surprise that we're sat here talking to you today. So. Oh, well, that's very, very nice of you, Ian. Thank you very much for, for saying yeah. that. And likewise as well. I mean, you know, coming to, to do this case study and industry talk together, like you say, it works both ways as well people came to people you know so i i came to you because you've got such a great case study and, and an inspirational um architect and now director you know so um yep. it's, it's, it works both ways in, in in terms of that and that's that's good to see that that is a a main well one of the one of the things that comes with certainty is that we look into trusting others to help us deliver and it is a huge trust chain if you like because you trust in the other co-founders, you're trusting those who are working with you to meet their deadlines, you trust in the services that's being provided to you as well, um, which is great. And it takes us to the yeah. immediate mobilization um, as well. So in, in terms of immediate mobilization, we've already kind of, again, touched on this slightly. Um, we got too excited. We kind of went through all of the topics at once, I suppose, but with, with the mobilization, we, we, we mentioned about, you know, starting straight away, being able to, to, to get there. What was, what was, I suppose, the key driver for you to start straight away? I mean, we spoke about, yeah, servers are going to take a long time, but what was the key thing? Did you have, you know, a project in mind? Did you have a client who's knocking on the door that said, look, we, we need to start this off next week? And that was the, no, we the had, mobilization plan. We had, we had um, potential across the board, really, um, in, in, in several of our targeted sectors. And, um, and the quicker we were able to mobilize, the quicker we could realize the potential in those sectors. Um, mm -hmm. And um, it, it's, 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 it's a straightforward, it's a straightforward response to, um, to, to uh, again, I can't, I can't emphasize enough, you know, people dealing with people yeah. and, and, and when, when, when people want to work with you and yeah. want to employ yeah. your services, You've got to be able to respond quickly from the position where we were, um, yeah. in, in terms of um, where you know where, where it, that we'd taken a decision to to um, set up something and and deliver it via that means. We just needed to mobilise. We needed to mobilise quickly to realise all that potential. Yeah. yeah. So That's online, cool. online was our yeah. only option actually for us. And with yeah. whatever thing you choose to do online sometimes just to save save time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so we're, we're talking about, to be honest, at the moment we're in a world anyway where we want things instantly. The internet has become mm -hmm. huge in, in, in our daily lives. You're constantly on the mobile, whether it's for work, whether it's for, for leisure. Um, and so you're constantly on platforms. And as soon as, I seen a video yesterday, as soon as Wi-Fi connection disconnects, everyone goes, what's happened? You know, it's like it's the end of the world. And, you know, it's the Wi-Fi is, and it actually happens happened to me yesterday and I had to do a hotspot thing from my mobile and and uh, I said to my brother I was like you know it, it, what, did your internet drop or was he streaming as well as work and what has happened and he it dropped for him as well but you know it takes the whole world the whole world just rises and you think oh, what's happened you know but yeah, it's in an okay. instant isn't it we want everything now yeah yeah, which takes us to <laughs> takes us to our logistics um, in terms of central office. Um, we, we've already discussed this one, so we don't need to um, go into this one unless you've got any further comments to to add to this. But working from home overheads and things like that, we've discussed that one uh, yeah. previously. No, no, we're, very, we're we're comfortable with the with the. Uh, I mean, the, the, the principle of, of, of flexible office space and flexible office space usage. Mm -hmm. Um, which mm -hmm. is, I, gonna, I, I feel, is probably going to be the next new norm of the way um, city centre dwellers and office space dwellers may operate uh, in yes. the future. Yes. It's certainly, yeah. without doubt, refined our thinking. That's how we're going to be operating on, on the basis yeah. of flexible office space usage. Um, yeah. we, we, we don't see our, our, our strategic plan uh, looking at being tied into a fixed office space five days a week in the short term. Um, yeah. As we grow, that, that obviously everything changes and things will change, and, and, and our strategic plan offers us the ability to, to, to react to that and respond to that. But we're comfortable yeah. with the, we're comfortable with the proposition that we have at the moment. Yeah, and very excited yeah. about the office space that we have, which we've 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 been in and we've 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 spent some time in there, and it's uh, it, it's funky to say the least. 
Oh, oh brilliant, brilliant. If, well, this is it's put a spin on business parks, hasn't it? So, um, you know, it's not going to be permanent, but maybe there's more companies now that will be using those spaces as well. So yeah. um, I think it's put a spin on everyone's, uh, everyone's kind of ways and working and things. Yeah. That's the two questions done. Our, f our final kind of slide that we're going to be discussing items on is to do with, you know, your practice is now four months old um, and it's matured dramatically or drastically from day one into where you are now at day at, at month four. Uh, and just kind of looking at that time frame, we, we start off with ambition and anxiety and I can kind of stress that enough with what, how and why you, you might have gone into that. You, you'll go into in a second. But this is something that is, is a new business. There we go. The phone's going already. You know, you've got a call. Maybe it's a new client. <laughs> <laughs> it is, actually. <laughs> you might I'm need to step away. But... I'm going to have to bill, have to bill you for this now. Invite him to the call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, they can add to keep thinking, you know, with the next with the next pass. But yeah. no, if with with any business, and if whoever's listening to this presentation and you know is, is listening to this at the moment, whoever wants to start to create a new business or whoever has created knows about both ambition and anxiety. You have got mm -hmm. this whole. You need to contain yourself. You you kind of think about oh, when we could do this and we could do that, and we could do this, but you need to start small, and then maybe you, then anxiety comes in. You know, will I be able to do it? Will I not be able to do it? And and you you kind of have two voices in your head. Then exactly. Tell me that. a bit more as to why exactly you chose that. this. I mean, I mean, we, you've got to remember as well. Yeah. We, there's not just us in this in this uh, environment as well. We've got uh, we've got yeah. our other co-directors um, yeah. who have, yeah. uh, bring a wealth uh, who we've, we've worked with previously as well. You know, back yeah. as far as yeah. um, twenty years back. You know, from, from our first from yeah. our first times together, and yeah. um, they they bring a wealth of, of of business and commercial acumen. As uh, as business and project strategists to the the, the practice and the setup, so working with um, working with Dave and Dave up, up front and 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 Chris as well um, at, right at the yeah. start of, of the implementation of this, um, mm -hmm. as a holistic team, we just gave each other confidence in the ability that we had the sound architectural backing, we had the sound mm -hmm. business and commercial acumen backing, and we had all the components that we needed in in in, in setting up. An architectural practice and an architectural business. You know, we had those components right from the start, and 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 mm -hmm. to have that level of confidence, um, you know, from, from each side, you know, uh, confidence that that, that 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 they had an architectural partner, confidence that we had a business uh, acumen. It just made it sail. By the time we'd come yeah. to yourselves and then and then um, understood the implementation of our core IT requirement and our core IT requirement is our software that we deliver our core tools on. Then, yeah, then that's what I was, all the pieces I was going of digital. to say. That's what I was going to say. By the time we, um, we found the tools that would help us deliver and would help us work, then the scale between ambition and anxiety was like a bit more towards ambition and yes you can yeah. we can do yeah. this rather than anxiety yes yeah. so yeah. that's the cover which is good it's good uh, and yeah, you've got you so have... much else going on in the background haven't you with course, covid and course. everything else <laughs> The, but, the, 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 the level of anxiety has just that. become sort of, uh, you, just, you, you just measure things differently, don't you? You know, but, you but know I, the world was in a terrible place. As yeah, to, yes. you, know, to, yeah, you just course. measure things, your metrics are different. Yeah, and I suppose I that if, the measure... Sorry, no, carry on, Katrina. No, sorry, Bidu, I was just going to say, but if you get yeah. some comfort to the um, to beat the technicalities, then you can just... Yeah to be more more comfortable to 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 move on yes absolutely and talking about the different metrics and, and the confidence to move on you've um i've seen an article recently where someone wrote that you know if you've got 51 percent if you if, if you that wants to do something that's enough it's never going to get to a hundred percent you know you, you, there will always be that kind of voice that says mm, i don't know if you can do it but then if you've got 51% of, of you saying, yeah, we can achieve this and you've got the, the correct, you know, like you said, there's more more than just both of you who have co-founded Archilab. We, we've yeah. got 
we've got different skill sets and we've got, you know, someone's weakness is someone else's strength, then you, you've got the ability to start it. And like you said, you know, you've had the credentials from the start, so you don't have to work towards that and it's another right. hurdle that you have to go over. I think that's a fabulous point. Getting to 51% yeah. with your decisions, whether they're right or wrong, if, you, if, if yeah. you, it, gives you, it gives you the opportunity to learn. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It, because you're going to move on, you're going to make the decisions quicker, you're going to learn from those decisions quicker, and you're going to move yeah. on and make different decisions quicker. So your Absolutely. whole period of procrastination and learning um, within what I would describe as a growth mindset then is yeah. a completely different ball game. You, you're, yeah. you're learning and you're learning through hard work. You know, we don't have to yeah. be, uh, we don't necessarily have to be all the most intelligent of people or have high intellect. If you're prepared to put hard work in and follow a growth mindset, yeah. As a, as, a, um, as, a re, as a wise man once said to me, by the way, he said, you're either successful or you learn. And you said both of those words in your sentences that you never said anything about failure. So, you know, if, if you if you have learned that that wasn't the right way, you've learned from it. Or Absolutely. if it was the right way, you were successful. So there's only ever those two things that we need yeah. to think about, yeah. which which then takes us on to end of month one. So we've we've dealt with um, ambition. We now you know we, we've got anxiety. But then as soon as it's like your first day of school, isn't it? You know, as soon as the, the, the first day is finished, the rest of the year just kind of swings by really quickly. So you've had your first week, the first week's gone. And now we're talking about um, the end of the first month. How do you feel oh. about the end of the first month? <laughs> I wish I could say that it was all fun and games, but <laughs> yeah. it took it took a lot of a lot of um, um, time. To, we put a lot of time on it. We took a lot of um, of our um, you know personal um, knowledge into it, and uh, yeah. it's we had we had to learn. It was a learning curve to be able to mm -hmm. work with, uh, um, let's say, w w with the tools that we had and to be able to work efficiently. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but at the end of end of month one, we have set our parameters. We have set like a, 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 a working platform. So it was getting there. We were getting there. So we, we, we said like, yes, we are. But with everything, it needs time. It needs effort. It needs to, to put everything up you have just to be able to 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 say that yes i'm doing this and now yeah. that i can i can yeah. i can do it but we we we, we you know with, with with subscription based services uh, in 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 uh, the offer that you know we've got from yourselves at symmetry we had that onboarding process didn't we you know so so yeah. so we 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 weren't just sort of sold the products and off you go You've got the whole onboarding yeah. process. You've got that one-to-one -one support, yeah. you know, and, and yeah. you're just slowly layering up the, the the confidence. So at the end of month one, we've 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 made the we've made the the, the decisions, we've we've yeah. implemented them. Now we're layering up the sort of support level. Oh, more confidence has just been thrown into it that we know what we're doing with it now. Yeah, that's where we're at at yeah. that point. Yeah. There were times move on to, we move were on to month two. Yeah, even though I think we're actually, at month, we're actually at month six, I think at the moment now because the first two months was 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 a lot of um, a lot of debate and angst to set it, get, getting set up and and and, and mobilizing. But uh, no, there, you know, there, there, there were times. Company structure. There were times that we were saying like, "Well, I wish I had a magic wand." And whenever I have a problem, I have the tool here in my ear. When I'm thinking like, "Oh, oh how, how shall I do this? How shall I do this?" You need to do yeah. this and press this and press that. So we, I wish. I wish I had this magic wand for the first month, but um, oh, I mean, I don't know if you really like want to have me in your ear all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so brilliant. Lovely. So. Number so, yeah. two then. So we went through the onboarding processes and making sure that the workflows and everything are together. You know, mm -hmm. sorry, you've got a comment in there, sorry what, you know, but with everything that we're exploring and, will, and things like that. So Anyone who started working, who started to, to learn Revit will understand yeah. this. But and yeah. then it's, it's a different thing, and then it's 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 a Beam three hundred and sixty new platform. But it, it takes practice. Yeah. It takes practice. It's never straightforward, is it? So. No, no, absolutely not. And it's just like with anything, isn't it? You, you try to keep your comfort blanket. So you know, you, you try to keep what you know. When a new software comes 
comes along again it's oh it could be a bit of a clunky software it doesn't it doesn't seem to work until you get to familiar familiarize yourself with the different platforms with the different features you realize the method behind the madness really sometimes. exactly because you can easily say oh that doesn't work or that doesn't it's not right or it's it's worse yeah. than the previous one but uh, let's yeah. step back a minute and say like wait a minute do i know how how exactly how to work this do i know how it works yeah. no i need to learn about it so yeah that's it yeah. Yeah, which takes you on to m month two, which Ian was eager to get on to because <laughs> end of month two is when you familiarize. It's Ian, when you like Ian to... started working on BIM 360. That, probably that's why. <laughs> As soon as I push the collaborate button on the uh, setting up the work sets, yeah, all, all of a sudden we're live and it's like, oh, this is real. Yeah, this, this is, is real yeah. now. This is it. You know, we, you know, we're, we're now, <laughs> and it works. And it works. Where we need it. to be. We, mm -hmm. we, we can now deliver yeah. what we've said, we've targeted um, in terms of our delivery. Um, mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the, the, the business processes are running in the background. We've now got the actual practice delivery side of things. And, and, and we're now at that point. We've pushed the, we've pushed the, pushed the work sharing button, collaborate, and we're off. We were very proud uh, to be. To be honest, we were very proud. Look at us. We're pro we were adding projects. We're adding members to a team. We are we are Brilliant. sharing our information. And yeah. and all on a live project. It's not even a test project, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Various yeah. various live projects. Um, you know, uh, yeah. across yeah. across each of the sectors. Yeah, yeah. And then that takes you on to collaboration then, which is month three. So you've already established that, you know, that we can now add people, add members and, and yeah, start exactly. with our project and, exactly. and get the ball rolling, if you like. And, and, and then collaboration comes. Yeah. Yeah. Move all our projects to BIM360 platform. So that's our main yeah. sharing and collaboration platform. Yeah. yeah, and and how did how did that work then? Because in in the notes under collaboration, we've got you know the BIM three hundred and sixty secrets to work sharing and and being able to work on central models and things like that. D did you kind of you know pick up the phone to each other and say, can you see this? Can you see that? Did that permission yeah. allow you to do this? Did you we have the kind of conversation? Yeah, yeah, we did. We did work yeah. along with teams with some screen yeah. sharing. So whoever knew the most would give like uh, a bit of more clarity to the rest. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, it's it's a different way of working, although it's still Revit, but it's a different way of working with the models. Um, yeah. So that what we had to 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 learn at first, but then it's mm -hmm. it's very straightforward afterwards yeah and there's so, still there's still so a I, myriad of things within bin 360 design specifically which we which we're running you know to, to, to learn yet um i seem yeah, to remember going back to the onboarding of the swimming lanes and uh yeah, yeah you know we we we're scraping the surface we you know we, yeah. we're, we're scraping the surface we the the, 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 the exactly. detail that you take uh, took us through um mm -hmm. in terms of its full capability yeah we we are uh, yeah. slowly mm -hmm. layering up the, the detail aren't we yeah, absolutely. And it's it's the best way, isn't it? We take baby steps, we, we develop it, and then we, we can learn for the next process and, and yeah. just kind of expand on it. You know, um, mm -hmm. you are diving in the deep end and you're diving in the deep end, but you're trying to not go so deep. You're trying to, you know, no. do as, as much as you can. We quite literally dived again. in the deep end, setting up a practice <laughs> in a global pandemic. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. What a great topic. Yeah. Um, which yeah. takes you to then keep thinking. Read, I mean, if you read, sorry, I'm just going to say, if you read all the practice, <laughs> if you read all the practice management books, the first statement they make is, "Whatever you do, if you bought this book to set up an architectural practice, take the book back. Don't yeah. do it." Yeah. <laughs> okay. we, 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 and then you just keep reading. <laughs> yeah, we, we, that, I think I think the pandemic just just set a backdrop, which just enables us to say, "Oh, do it." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why not? Sorry, Why not? It's I, the I best time to take a risk. Carry on. No, that's absolutely fine because we're talking about taking a deep dive and the next que the next point is keep sinking. So what are we talking about with keep sinking? We're not sinking down the dive, are we? We, we keep sinking in Revit? <laughs> what, what is it? Yes. What is it that we're no, trying to do? No, 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 no. It's Revit. It's yeah. sinking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. so, yeah, it's uh, keep, keep working um, efficiently. And uh, as Ian said, there is a long way to go still with BIM 360. Lo lots of things we need to discover and unlock more secrets. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 
and to be able yeah, to, we to are bring optimistic in, and we are determined to do the yeah. well. And to bring in our Thank external you. consultants as well now, you know, across the design teams um, and, and sharing, you know, the sharing the platform uh, yeah. with with them mm -hmm. as well. So, uh, you know, with various framework bids that, that, that we've submitted, and you know, um, our, our, our common data environment is is, is there for use um, and ready um, should any of those um, framework bids um, come to fruition. And we'll be, you know, working closely, inviting those consultants in and across, and, and being fully fully collaborative then across across the disciplines brilliant brilliant and so it, in terms of setup and things like that you feel confident now that things are, are there you've started to use it and you're not just using it on projects that are there but you're now welcoming other projects that can come through the door and you could just yeah. start running basically exactly. you don't have to go through any of the curves yeah, yeah, again yeah. because yeah, exactly. you've already established yeah it's an internal framework, just like having, you know, the correct policies and the correct um, indemnity insurance and the correct yeah. um, uh, levels of, of health and safety and things like that. It's, mm -hmm. it's a framework now that you, it's, it's, it's crucial to um, delivering projects that, that key clients request. So it's just an, it's a key component in all that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it takes us... Um, it, I mean, that's a very detailed timeline that takes us from almost your day one to how you feel at the moment and, and to go through this kind of, you know, rocky journey, I suppose, where you, you're learning something and, and then you realize, no, actually, my performance can go much quicker. So now I can do this. And so it's, it's kind of, you know, a bit of a, a zigzag timeline, but yeah. it takes you to a, an area now that you feel more confident in. It feels more like a normal day of work, you know, yeah. and you're kind of going through with the, the stresses of deadlines instead of I need to make sure that this is in place and IT and, and all sorts of things, which takes yeah, us things, to... Some things never change, deadlines and some weekend working. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe a bit more of that. So, which is why well, it yeah. probably feels like eight months. It <laughs> does. It before. certainly does. All good fun. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and it takes us, I mean, this conversation, I, I could go on and on and on. Um, we've, we're nearing the end of this presentation now, which takes us to a summary of what we think of those three, well, four different uh, items from the three topics that we spoke about. So, Katarina, if I start with you, BIM 360, any final thoughts, comments, or, or, or points on that? Uh, BIM 360, uh, well, it's it's a very useful tool. First, it, it, it looks like a huge task, but it's so useful. Yeah. And, and we, we're, we're really happy that we work uh, with, with this uh, platform and this tool. And it, it, it had helped us um, enormously. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in terms of architecture, do you still feel like, you know, you're doing an architect's job? You're still designing, you're still doing what you, you always wanted to do? Well, are you still BIM 360, like that? BIM 360 doesn't mean I cannot yeah. have my my um, my notebook and my, my sketchbook next to me to do my architecture. Yeah. It's just how yeah. I'm sharing it online in this new reality that BIM yeah. 360 yeah. helped me. Put it this yeah. way, it's Perfect. not... It, it, it's not um, it's not leaving us um, time to um, have to go and reboot a server and, and fix a network <laughs> issue or a downtime issue. That's that's now Autodesk problem, uh, yeah. and, and and it's usually you know any, any issues with it is usually just a, a straightforward restart of the desktop connector um, mm -hmm. and maybe applying a hotfix. It's you know we're, we're not we're, we've definitely got time to be architects and do our do our job, do what we're good at. You know, that, that, I think that's, yeah. the, that's the premise. That's you know, the thing. You, it's you, the tool. You, 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 you've got to concentrate on doing, yeah, do, concentrate on doing what you're good at, yeah, and, and, yeah. and, and allow other things beneath you and delegate other, other things to other specialisms and allow those people to do what they're good at. And, Absolutely. Um, you know, as lead, as lead consultants, BIM360 gives us the platform to lead. And, yeah. um, you know, that leadership is, is now, I, can, I, I can't stress enough, it's, leadership is a behaviour. And it's a behaviour yeah. that we're all going to be getting used to via your use of BIM 360. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and I mean, it's, it's good to see that you can still stay passionate about your, your role as designers, as leaders, as consultants, you know, during what we're, we're going through at the moment, a, a global pandemic where, you know, lockdown keeps on being reinstated and, and trying to kind of 
I suppose that has channeled your focus into the business. And, you know, instead of being, I, I don't know, you, you have so many other variables that come along with with being free without being locked down and in, in, in lockdown and things like that. So it channels your focus in, into your business, really. And all of the challenges that you face that we d- discussed on the call, you know, um, what platform will we go to and who knows how to set up a server? Oh, there's none of us who are IT here. So how are we going yeah. to do that? And and. I suppose those challenges have, have come into um, into play, really, and, and, and just kind of fine-tuned the lens. I like I like that from what you mentioned yeah. earlier as well, Ian. Yeah, well, so, Ian, yeah. any, any kind of final comments or thoughts or points that you want to raise just in the summary of, of today's presentation? No, I think I think we've covered we've covered absolutely everything there from from um, the, the, the the principle of, of, of taking the decision of setting something up, having the tools to be able to deliver it, having the right people to be able to deliver it. And uh, yeah. and moving forward um, in uh, in doing what you're good at, um, yeah, that's that's for us what um, what, you know, what what the platforms and the technology and cloud-based technology has, has enabled us to do is is to leave us to do what we're good at. Brilliant, brilliant, perfect. But being, and, but um, being able, but being able to share it, that's the thing. Being able 100%. to share it, absolutely, yeah. yeah, because you know, an idea is best shared. Sometimes you know, you you get the most out of it that way um yeah. in terms of w- whether it's just a sketch that then can can develop into an, a masterpiece an architectural masterpiece or something yeah. i mean um, our, our, yeah. our, our practice our, 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 our ethos our culture and our values is based on collaboration mm-hmm. being at the core and that's collaboration Brilliant. whether you're collaborating yeah. across a felt pen sketch of, a, of, of, mm-hmm. of the design for the next um home of 20 30 or whether it's a yeah collaborative nature of sharing a particular element of a project it's embedded yeah. collaboration in our core values and um yeah. and, and we'll remain true to that yeah well hopefully um it's a really good core value to have and uh, you know it's, it's always it's always good to share those values with with everyone else with, within the team and be passionate about it as well. Um, well, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you both, Ian and Katarina, for your time today in this industry talk. It's been great and I could just carry on talking with you. It's been really great. Um, detailed well, yeah. session and i'm Thank hoping you. that whoever's listening to this you're very welcome it's our pleasure to have you and and to host you into this and, and co-present with with yourselves um you, you know like you say people go to people and you, this conversation just feels like we could have had it with a coffee you know in, in a coffee shop yeah. is is a conversation that hopefully will motivate a lot of those who are listening to this presentation as well and you know to take a risk sometimes or take a risk during a risky time you know and so um i'd just like to thank you for sharing your your um thoughts and your processes and your timeline and answering those questions in terms of how you set up an architectural company during the global pandemic that we're in at the moment um if you'd like to hear more on uh, any of these points or if you'd like to send us or drop us any questions then please feel free to do so at batool.jabor at symmetry.com and we will get back to you with uh, the answers in due course as well. Thank you very much once again and take care and have a good day. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.